Hey guys, welcome back to Homesteading Off The Grid. Today we're going to talk to you about splitting large rounds of firewood without using a splitter. We're going to be using an axe and a hatchet. I've been experimenting today with various techniques for a couple of reasons. Honey, give them a, a glance over there real quick. Show them all those large rounds. Okay, as you can see, uh, we have a lot of really large rounds this year. We have neighbors that lost some really big red oaks. We've got rounds this big. That was uh, ash right there we got from a tree removal company this summer. This stuff has not had as much time to dry out as we would like, would have liked for it to have had because this has been the rainiest year on record in recorded history since the settlement of Jamestown, at least according to me. And you can see by just the fungus on these rounds that have been laying out here, they've not been drying as much as they should. And another thing, I'm a year older than I was last year. So I can split with an ax, but the time is coming where I can't rely solely on superhuman Superman strength. So um, come a little closer, honey. Let's show them what I have going on here. <clears throat> Here's a technique I've found that I'm gonna use. Basically, I'm going to go with the grain of the large round with my ax. And whereas last year and in years past, I would just be out here just slamming away with my ax, you know, busting this thing up and not even caring, just feeling all big and strong over it. Um, I'm not going to do that this year as much. So what I'm going to do is without using much uh, strength, effort, and force at all, is I'm going to make sure to, to get my axe blade in here closer to the edge, very close to the edge. I don't want to be up here in the center, in the heart of the, the log because that's where it's strongest. But out here, going with the grain, I'm not going to be using much energy at all. Now, I'm going to wear my, my glasses because we always got to remember safety first. Get this out of the way. I'd hate to hit that and have it fly back and hit me. That's it. You saw that took no energy. Okay, now, be doing a lot of banging, a lot of hammering. It's gonna look like I'm using a lot of energy, maybe more than if I were Superman in this thing away with the ax, but it's not. I've been out here trying it, and uh, I'm just gonna tap this through. And come closer if you can. Something I've been noticing while I'm doing this is you see it split, you can hear it split too. Um, can you stand right there, honey, where you were? I wanna see if you can hear this. Let me tap it a few times and then we'll give it a listen. Can you hear that? You hear that? Yeah. Um, I don't know if the, if the microphone on the camera is picking that up or not, guys, but that's motivating. I know this log is splitting because I can hear it being ripped apart, and this isn't hard. I mean, it's loud because it's steel on steel. Can you hear it? Yeah, I hear it. Okay. Hear it? Mm -hmm. And guys, this might be taking me a little bit longer, but I'm not breathing hard. I'm not sweating. This is not hard. This is, I don't know how much it weighs, but it's not much. Hear it? Hear it ripping? Once you get this thing down in there, it just starts tearing itself apart. You hear it? And I'm holding down here the end of the ax. I can feel the vibrations from the, raw, from the log being ripped apart. Hear it ripping? Mm -hmm. Now, my fear was I'd bury my ax, but as you can see, I can pull it right out of there. Mm 
give it a few love taps and then guys it's kind of like working a puzzle like taking a instead of putting a puzzle together piece by piece I'm taking one apart piece by piece I want to show them the grain again okay so I've got this thing ripped all the way down the side here now what I want to do is ordinarily I just go to the other side of the log but I'm going to twist it so my lovely assistant camera woman here doesn't have to change her angle but you see how the grain is coming apart quite easily right here I'm going to go with this one and probably what's going to happen is this piece will come out so same thing I'm not using a big heavy Superman swing I'm just being meticulous I missed a little bit I'm a, I mean that may have worked anyway but I'll go over a little bit you see that gave a lot more because I've already got the rip started and now I'll start banging down on this side. And now that's so loose, I've got to rip down both sides of the grain that from here, I could probably just turn it over or watch this, stand back a little bit, honey. You know what? I haven't used any Superman strength yet and I'm not gonna start now. I wanted to take the easy way out. I'm just gonna flip it over because it's holding together a little bit on the back side. So I'm just going to come back here. I'm going to do the same thing. Another reason I'm not cheating and going Superman crush it with the axe is because, uh, and no offense, but you might be a 60 year old woman that weighs 115 pounds watching this video and you want to know how you can split these large rounds. This will work for you because this is so much easier than using superhuman strength. So I do the same thing here. I see which way the grains are going. I'm going to go like that into the grain. I'm just going to hammer down. Hear it ripping. Hear it? And then that just comes right out. So guys, like I said, and now I'll have to go around and do this. And now this piece, this is manageable. Okay guys, so I split a couple, I split this off a few more times um, down to what I would call manageable size pieces. So now that we have the large round cut, down into manageable pieces. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to split the manageable pieces now that they're manageable. So, set it here and again, you know, when you're chopping wood, you always wanna go with the grain. So, nothing to it let me show you with the other one again when this was all one piece there's no way uh, I could have split that this is some big wood it's very big wood and it's not as dry as I like it to be when I usually split I go with the grain and it, it just splits right apart okay guys so Basically what I just showed you, you can use in combination. If I wanted to split all of these large rounds with the, you know, insert uh, axe and tap with the hatchet method, I could, and I might. There might be days where I do that. Um, other days, once I get the large pieces separated enough to where they're in manageable pieces, I might go over and I might just chop with the axe. Here's what we're learning about all of this homesteading stuff, whether it's cutting firewood, growing vegetables, raising chickens, trying to build pens for animals, there's more than one way to do any of these chores. Everybody has the perfect way to do this, the perfect way to do that. What we found works for us is a combination of many ways. So on the days when I just don't have the energy, I'm gonna 
insert my axe and pound it down with my my hatch or my hatchet and just do it that way if i don't have the strength if i'm feeling good i'll get up there and i'll superman it and split it up do what works best for you there's always going to be a video that says this is the best way to do this this is the best way to do that there's no best way to do anything. I hope this helped you learn a new way of maybe doing something some of the time. And at, ba at best, that's the best we can all hope for, really. So find what works for you. For me, it's a combination, and a lot of it depends on my mood. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please check back with us for more later here at Homesteading Off the Grid.